It's happened plenty of times. If you suffer from bad chipping, I'm gonna show you a really easy way to stop hitting that shot. It's called the coffee cup chipping drill. Stay tuned. Hello, I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the golf doctor. And if this is your first time to the channel, welcome. This channel is all about helping you play better golf. And of course, one of the best ways to improve your golf is to click on the subscribe button and hit the bell notification, and then you're on your way. So today's golf tip is all about helping you improve your chipping. And if you can improve your chipping, you're a long way to improving your golf score. And the other night I had a golf, les golf lesson with a guy who was really struggling with his chipping and like that shot you saw me play earlier. Uh, that was pretty much what he was doing. He was hitting behind the ball, hitting the ball fat, topping, all sorts of things. So I came up with the idea of using a coffee cup attached to the golf club with some black, uh, black tape. So the purpose of this is to try and get the feeling of turning the coffee cup and spilling all of the coffee out of the coffee cup. What he was doing is he was holding all of the coffee in the coffee cup and not spilling it. And in doing so, he was hitting up on the ball. His left elbow was breaking down. Great if you're playing a cricket shot, but not so good for golf. So I just attached the cup to the club face and said, just practice turning the club face. So you're keeping it low. His response was, that feels like I'm going to hit it with a little bit of a hook. And we don't actually want you to hit it with a bit of a hook, but to him, being so used to keeping that club face square for so long, anything that's different to that is going to feel like he's hitting a hook. So he won't hook it, but he's just learning to control the club face. So I just got him to, uh, in fact, I put a golf tee in there just to make sure that he got the feeling of turning the golf tee. Uh, and get letting the golf tee come out of the cup. So I just got him to do a few of those. You can see the club's staying quite low. My left arm is staying pretty straight and tucked into my body. It's not being separated. So after he did a few of those, I got him to hit a shot. So I'm in my setup here, and from there, I'm just gonna get the feeling that that club is turning to the left and keeping it low. So instantly, my contact was much better it was crisper, the ball stayed lower, and it ran out. Now I'm heading in the direction of the flag, I'm not actually trying to get it close to the flag. I'm just trying to get that club turning left, and that's a much better chipping action. So work on that for a little while, and I think you'll find you'll stop miss hitting the shot as often as you do, and you'll get better contact, more consistent chips, and that's gonna to lead to a better score. Thank you for letting me help you with your golf. I'm Brian Fitzgerald, the Golf Doctor, and I look forward to seeing you on, your, on my next video.